Now let's join Vice President, Director of Athletics, Brett Glass, and Coach Tom Cream in welcoming back our senior member, Colin Hartman, of the 2016-2017 Indiana University Basketball Program. Colin's been with him for four years, so we've got a few things to say about him. Our lone senior originally committed to the Hoosiers in November of 2010 and has been a member of the program for four seasons. He is the seventh player under Tom Crean to earn his bachelor's degree in business, in, excuse me, business management in less than four years and is currently enrolled in graduate school. He started 24 games for the 2016 Big Ten champions and finished second in the league in three-point field goal shooting in 2015. His toughness could never be questioned after he helped lead IU to the Sweet 16 last season, playing three games in the NCAA tournament with a broken right wrist and averaged 5.7 points, four rebounds, and 3.3 assists against North Carolina, Kentucky, and Chattanooga. <laughs> Collins' impact on winning also was on display last season against Notre Dame, Collins scored nine points in the final 11-33 to help rally IU from a 16-point deficit in the second half and hit the go-ahead free throws with 50 seconds left in the game. At Iowa, Collins hit two free throws with 4-14 to tie the game at 74-all and remained on the floor for his defense the rest of the game. IU won 81-78 to clinch the 2016 outright Big Ten title. In the NCAA tournament against Kentucky, he made a driving layup and hauled in an offensive rebound, which led to a Yogi Ferrell three-point field goal in the second half. In 10 minutes that half, he had three rebounds and two assists as IU won 63-57 to advance to the regional semifinals. He underwent season-ending knee surgery before this season. And while he continues to contribute to the program every day, his experience, leadership, and versatility on the court have been missed. He is here this evening with his mother and stepfather, Melissa and David Compton, his father, Brian Hartman, and his brother, Zach Hartman. Ladies and gentlemen, a 6'7 guard from Indianapolis Cathedral High School, number 30, senior Colin Hartman. Well, all right, he wants me to go first. Um, I'll start with him in a second. I wanna say thank you to everybody that just walked out here already. Uh, they do so many things for our program. Uh, student trainer, student managers, they do an incredible job. Just like all of you, our senior cheerleaders, our senior dance team, our senior band members, our seniors that are up there, all right? It's a very important night for all of you, all right? We have two that have been a part of our office, Sam Hendershot and Steven Surface. All right, seniors now, thank you for what you've done. Thank you, Sam, you did a fantastic job. Steven, you've done a great job, great job. It's actually senior night for our, for our families and for some of us, Dr. Hetty, uh, Tim Garl, myself. I've never had a senior night myself for, for, for a member of my family, my, but my daughter, Megan, uh, is a senior, and uh, she'll be finishing here soon. And she's been through a lot, 18 years of me being a head coach, nine years here, and I would say this to her, where, where is she? I would say this, and I, I know I'll close it with this. I am so proud of her toughness, perseverance, passion, 
and, and just all out ability to go after what she wants. She gets it from her mother, all right? So very, very fortunate to have that. Very proud of you. Now I'm gonna give this to Colin, but I just wanna tell you what I would tell everybody else, what I would tell uh, a recruit, what I would tell the team, what I would tell uh, a prospective job uh, person that has, that has a position. Colin is all about what this is all about. Colin grew up in Indiana, committed to us as a sophomore. I'll never forget that day, they came back. Uh, I'll never forget the tears in his mom's eyes, basically crying, I don't even call them tears. The happiness, the pride, watching him grow through Cathedral, uh, playing for Andy Fagan and Tim Adams, and I know Andy's not here, but his wife and son are here tonight for this, and doing what he did at Cathedral. But Colin was a lot of what really happens when you go to college. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. He didn't make a three his freshman year. He played sparingly. He got hurt at the end of his freshman year, recovered from that knee surgery, came back, was second in the league in three-point shooting as a sophomore. Second in the league. <laughs> Kelly introduced him as a guard. He played center that year at 6'6". He played power forward. He played small forward. He played shooting guard, probably not as much as he'd like. And at times, he was our point forward. Colin Hartman helped us win a championship last year. We don't win that championship without Colin Hartman. He came in with guys like Troy and Noah Vonley, and, 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 and Colin persevered through so much. And, and what he did last year when he got injured in the Michigan game, and the first thing when, when we knew that, that, that he'd broken apart in, in his wrist, all he wanted to do was apologize. And after talking to Dr. Rink and to Tim Garl, we knew that there was a potential that he could be cleared. I said, you have the second best left hand on the team. We'll figure it out. That's how valuable he was, all right? That's exactly how valuable he was. In a two-week span, he might have used his right hand the three days that we played. What he did to get himself ready to play in that NCAA tournament, we don't win those games. We certainly don't beat Kentucky without him. And, and all the meanwhile, all he did is get better as a student, graduate from Indiana in three years. He's in the Masters of Business Administration program. He could leave, he could leave right now when it's over, move into the business world and be extremely successful, or he could come back to Indiana and play another year. He could come back to Indiana and play another year. But here's the beauty. We're all selfish because we know how good he is, but here's the beauty. He's got options. He is what Indiana University and this program is all about. He's done the job academically. He's done the job with his team. He's a winner. We sure have missed him this year, but he's done everything he can do to make this team better. He's got options, and that is exactly what you want. And he has done a fantastic job throughout his time and could not be any prouder of him at all. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Colin Hartman. Oh man, uh, thank you guys for all staying, first of all. Thank you guys for getting the W. I appreciate that. Y'all have me sweating a little bit, but I appreciate that. Uh, um, I kind of try to keep it somewhat short. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for giving me the opportunity and the ability um, to do what I do on a daily basis. And I'd especially like to thank him uh, for, for all the people that I, I get to do it with, um, like the staff and and these guys, these players, and my family, and friends, and um, countless people that I'm about to name. <laughs> um, so uh, I just wanted to start out with that. Um, I want to start out with thanking Coach Crean and his family, Mrs. Crean, Megan, Ainsley, Riley, all you guys. Thank you for bringing me into your family, holidays, 
what have you. Um, the staff, Coach Martin, all you guys, Coach L, um, Tim Garl, the doctors, Dr. Allfeld, Dr. Rink. Um, obviously, I needed you guys a lot <laughs> to get through rehab. <laughs> uh, but I, I just, I mean, I appreciate you guys for everything you do. Um, my teammates before me and the guys I got now, I love y'all and my boys. Thanks for holding it down. <laughs> uh, Marnie Mooney, uh, thank you for, for what you do all the time. There she is, point her out. Love you, Marn. Um, she's the magic behind the academics. Uh, when I came in, we decided that was a big selling point for me was being able to graduate in three years, and we did it. So thank you for making that possible. Um, you guys, aka the Indiana fans, I love you. You guys are awesome. We've had some crazy games in here, some crazy energy. Um, I can't tell you enough that it does fuel us when you guys get up and get crazy. Um, I, I firmly believe we have the best fan base in the country, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, then I'd like to thank Coach Fagan, I know he's not here, Coach Adams, um, for my high school coaches and their families for guiding me and, and being um, uh, very strong for me in times that I, when I got injured, because it happened in high school too, uh, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, but it, it's people like that who really just pushed me through and, and kept me kept me level-headed and kept me driven throughout those hard times. Um, so thank you uh, for those people. Um, gosh. Oh. Uh, my dad, uh, it's his first game in assembly. Uh, he drove all the way out, him and my grandparents drove all the way out from Nebraska, some 16 hours. I love you. So, it's crazy. It's funny, because when we go to Nebraska, my whole dad's side of the family's out there, and I use like 30 tickets for that game, too. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, but I had a lot of my childhood in, in Nebraska, and it kind of shaped me into the outgoing person that I am today. So, so I'm forever thankful for that. Um, my Indiana family, there's so many of you to name, I can't do it all. Um, growing up, doing crazy stuff in the backyard, bloody noses, broken arms, countless, whatever it be, um, running around in the country, it was fun. It was a good time, and um, you guys have always pushed me. Um, my Uncle Mike, he really, uh, when, we, when, we moved to Nebraska, when we moved to Indiana, we moved into his basement. Um, <laughs> so we got real close real fast. Needless to say, um, he's really good with, with wood, uh, making like craftsmanship. So he, uh, he made his own paddle for me uh, <laughs> and us kids. So yeah, that was fun. <laughs> um, and to my mammal, I just want to say, uh, keep your head up. I love you. And I know he's watching. We didn't have to get him a ticket. Um, but I know he's watching. Uh, Dave, my stepdad. told myself I wasn't going to do that. Uh, but Dave, thank you for uh, just being there for my mom, you know. Um, 
taking care of us, teaching us about the world and stuff. Um, Zach, you've been my go-to guy for as long as you've been alive. We fought a lot as kids, like boys always do. Um, gosh. But what boys don't. Yeah, we drove my mom up the wall about 95% of the time. Uh, so I love you and thank you for everything you do. This next person is um, my mom. She's been my rock my whole life. We've been through it all. Been through injuries, financial problems that I didn't even know about. She was just, she'll run through a wall for me, my brother, and anybody she cares for. Um, she's the best person I know. And I wouldn't be half the person I am today if I wasn't for you. So, thank you. I love you. Thank you. Just getting started, aren't you? <laughs> I need a full. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, last but not least, um, starting freshman year, I'd like to thank my girlfriend Haley. Um, we've had our ups and downs just like every relationship has. Um, but she's been through everything with me. I, when, I first, when I tore my ACL, she was in Chicago doing uh, what was it, St. Patrick's Day? Uh, <laughs> so she was, she was in a good place with some friends, and you know how that goes. Uh, but I texted her. She's the first person I texted. I said, hey, I hurt my knee. I don't know how bad it is. Um, then I got the results. And um, against my, my judgment, um, she caught a bus and rode all the way down to Indy, down to Bloomington, um, to come spend time with me and take care of me. And she's done that through every injury, <laughs> and there's been a lot. Um, so if you would come up here and, and join me up here, I would enjoy that. Can you stand over here? It's, uh, it's been a crazy ride with this girl. Um, I, I love her more than I can explain. And um, if you... Uh, thank you guys for everything. Um, I appreciate everybody staying and um, I love you guys. Thank you.